Hey guys, I'm Zania with Crescendo TV, and we're chilling with the word alive. Uh, my name is Telly, uh, and I sing for the band. What are the main three things that you need to have while on tour? I'm ashamed to admit it because I, I feel depressed how tied to technology mm -hmm. um, we can be these days, but my iPhone and my MacBook are top two. Um, like when it comes to like whether it's writing or staying in touch with family, friends, girlfriend, like you need technology. Oh, yeah, like it, it helps so much. I don't. My grandparents always tell me they're like, "Well, when I met your grandma, I didn't have cell phone or anything. We made it work." Like, and I'm like, "It's just different now yeah. because you didn't have that, so you weren't missing it. You know, mm -hmm. we have that, and now it's like." Well, you got to talk on the phone. You got to do these things. So those are the top two. And then um, I wish I could bring my dog on every tour. Mm. I, I miss her a lot. And she's she was out on warp tour and she went crazy in this thing, running around. Everyone loved her. Oh, I bet. Um, <laughs> she's a little French bulldog. Uh, she's only nine months old. And oh wow. She's the cutest little thing. Your debut album, Deceiver, was released August 2010 and has caused a severe impact. What has this experience been like for you guys? At first it was, it was a little slow. We didn't know really what was going to happen. Well, it was slow in the live setting. Like We, we debuted at Top 100 Billboard and we were all like, how did that happen? Like We just didn't know what was going to happen after that. And then from there, um, it just slowly started catching on with the live show, and we we you know made sure we kept progressing as our crowds were growing, um, so that every time a kid came back to a show, they would feel like we were getting better each time. Mm -hmm. um, and I think having that mindset and the CD being out for as long as it's been out now has I mean it's been amazing. Like the show tonight was awesome. Um, we played at this venue in like February, I think, this year, and it was like almost double what that was, and even that was great, and a lot of the places we played on this tour, we either played earlier in the year or on Warp Tour, and the crowd reaction is just insane, mm -hmm. like compared to, you know, the beginning of the year till now, so we're really stoked about it. How would you say this al album differs from <coughs> Deceiver? Uh, well, so far, I I think like it's structured better. Um, it's it's made more with um, kind of like vocals in mind um, because um, before at times the guys would write and it'd be like, oh, this part sounds really sweet or this part sounds really sweet. And now instead of a collection of parts, we're trying to write a full song and mm -hmm. thinking of it, the song as a whole and as a completed thing. And the, so the guitar parts are more. Um, like f they flow much better um, mm -hmm. and that in itself is allowing me to have a lot more options vocally um, it's it's heavier and more technical at times but there's actually I think gonna be more singing on the album it's just gonna be more aggressive okay. though, overall like even when we sing it's still gonna be heavy at times so mm -hmm. as opposed to Deceiver most of the times when we sang it was either in a chorus or a slow part this time it's going to be a little bit more um, of a mixture of things. So. You've actually had the opportunity to travel around the world, obviously, and then what is your favorite place to play, would you say? Chicago. Yeah? Yeah, we happen to be here right now, but um, earlier in the year, like I said, like it was a great show, and even this tonight was like double that, but Warp Tour was just one of those life-changing like stop and just hope that everything stays in slow motion long enough for you to really soak it in because um, on stage I had to actually stop the set because it was just so much more um, than I ever envisioned ever having like mm. and like and to look out from a stage and see um, it was just incredible and I mean coming from someone who like I didn't even grow up you know with the mindset of, oh, I want to be a musician, you know, I actually thought I was going to play in the NBA, so, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, short white guy didn't, didn't pan out so well, but, um, <laughs> but, um, music, I fell in love with it, and kept pursuing it, and I just kept saying, like, to myself that if this is what I was going to do with my life, and go against the grain, so to speak, you know, um, 
then I was going to do my best and I was going to go until I felt like I couldn't accomplish anything more. Mm. And every year I feel like we get closer to being able to accomplish so many more things. And this summer I Warped Tour in Chicago was just one of those moments where I was like, everything up until this point, like all the decisions I made, like it had to have been the right decision. And mm -hmm. so it was kind of like one of those like reaffirming moments in your life where you're like, man, I didn't like fuck up my whole life. Like some people said I was doing like, uh -huh. and then from that point on, it's just been great. There's been so many shows, whether it's on Warped Tour or other shows around the world where I had like, you know, glimpse of, uh, that feeling um, and and it just keeps happening so mm -hmm. I, I'm excited to see what can happen with the band which tattoo of yours do you wish that you never had uh, I I had one of those and I covered it up so now I have none but um, where this is it's a evil skull spilling out blood and he has a light bulb to represent that this was a great idea mm. and my last one wasn't. You can kind of see because I've only had one session there's like a line here. I had a uh, Canadian flag there and I'm not going to go into too much detail but it involved a really stupid whore of an ex-girlfriend and um, <laughs> yeah don't even try and censor that. <laughs> um, and and I, I was stupid, and I got a tattoo. I love Canada, so it's not like I don't love Canada, but um, I just wanted to cover it up with something evil mm -hmm. and badass looking uh, so that when I looked down at it, I was like, this was a way better idea than <laughs> the first one. Yeah. To close off, do you, would you like to say anything to your fans? Thank you guys for supporting us, coming out to all the shows this year. Um, we're going in the studio February 7th through March 21st with Joey Sturgis, and we're going to write the best record we've ever written. Hopefully you love it, and we'll see you back out on the road in uh, April. There you guys have it. You just watched Shendo TV with We're Alive. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed or you don't have a YouTube channel, click here. It's free and you'll be the first to see our brand new videos.